What's up guys? In this video we're gonna start working with the filters. We're gonna apply filters by region, country, industry and others to our customers gallery. If you are new in this channel I will recommend you to look at the other videos in this series and also subscribe to don't miss any new video. So let's dive into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our application to see the final result that we are expecting. So, for example, we have the, re the, the filter for regions. So if we select any specific region, we're going to see only the customer to, that belongs to that region. We can select the European region, the American region and see the customers. We can also filter by country. If we, for example, select United States, we only see the customers from that country. We have a, another filter, which is the industry filter. So we can see, for example, the customer that belongs to the manufacturing industry. We can see the number of customers with, that correspond to all of these three filters, right? If we change for energy, or for manufacturing, we can see the different number of customers. And we can also filter, for example, by name, right? So if we specify the name of the customer, we will be able to look at it. So let's start working on our app. First of all, let's rename our gallery. So the name of this gallery is going to be Customers Gallery. OK. Let's keep in mind that name. And first of all, update this HTML text uh, control um, in order to show the number of customers. To do that, uh, we are going to use uh, basically uh, let's reference our customers gallery first. Then let's put uh, all items in our customer gallery. Uh, let's select one of the fields, let's select ID for example. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the number of items in our customer's gallery. So we use the count function. Okay, so you can see here we have 50 customers, right? And this is going to be updated during a while I filter the records. The second thing we're going to do is we are going to um, sort this content. So we're going to use the sort by columns uh, formula or function. We need to specify the source that basically is the, the customer's uh, list. And the column that we're going to use to sort these items, which is going to be the title field. Okay. And then we need to specify the order. If it's going to be ascending or descending, we are going to choose ascending this time. We can click here on format text. OK. And now if we preview, we are going to see that the, the customers has been ordered by name, right? By the title, which actually stored the, the customer name. Good. Now let's start working on the on filtering. Again, we want to filter by region and only show the customer that belongs to that region. So when I click on select a region, we show all the customers, right? So let's look at the name of this control. The name is DDWN region. And let's go back to our gallery and in the items property, where we see all the customers, we're going to basically filter those customers. So let's use the filters function. Uh, the first uh, value or parameter is a sort, which is a customer's list. And then we, need, we can specify the logical test, which is basically the validation that we're going to use to filter the, the list of customers. So. Let's look at what I have copied here. 
Uh, basically, I am selecting the value of the drop down and validating if the value of the drop down is different than select than the text select a region. If that's the case, we are gonna filter the customers where the region is equal to the value of the drop down. If not, we show any other custom, customer that um, don't have that region, the opposite basically, right? So for example, let's see if I select a region like APAC, we're gonna see only the customers that belongs to that region, right? Then we can select the different regions and, and validate that everything is working. Um, if I select uh, America or I select, select a region, which is a test, we are going to look at all the customers, right? So basically, we are validating that if we have selected something different than select a region, we should uh, filter the, the customers by region. Now let's uh, look at the country dropdown. Here is the, the name of the country dropdown. And we're going to get a second filter. So to do that, if we go to the filters uh, function, we can we have this logical test, but we can add more than one more than one logical test. First of all, let me just add a comment here. So this is going to be our fil filter number one, and the filter is going to be by region. Then if we put here comma, we should be able to uh, specify another logical test this is going to be the filter number two and it's going to be by country right so let me copy this uh, so basically it's going to be similar right uh, i'm validating if uh, i have selected a different value than select a country and if the uh, drop down is not blank so basically if i have selected another uh, i have selected a country from the drop down we are gonna specify we are gonna filter if not we are gonna keep all the values right so here i am filtering the con the, the customers by country basically the one that has been selected in a drop down and if not we are gonna show the opposite right all of the countries basically so let's see, I'm going to filter by the American region. Then we see only the countries from that region. And now if we select another cost country like Argentina, we can see only the customers from Argentina or from the United States, right? So basically we are filtering by the values selected in the drop down, And we only do that when obviously we select a value. Okay, now the third filter we are going to use is the filter by industry. Uh, but before that, let me... Yes, here we're going to specify the logical test. It's going to be filter number three by industry. This is going to be easier. It's going to be similar than the filter by region, basically. Right? Let me, first of all look at the name of this drop down so the name of this drop down is ddwn industry then we go back and we have the the function here let me copy this function so basically we are validating again similar right if we have selected a value from the drop down in the for industry different than select an industry okay we are gonna filter by industry but by the value selected if not we just put the opposite value right we, we filter by the opposite right okay and let's do it again let's validate if we are filtering uh, look at that we can select different filters at the same time and all of those filters has uh, are being applied right for example here we see 11 customers but now if we filter by manufacturing we see only four customers. So we have applied three filters to the uh, customers gallery at the same time. Now we are going to filter by this uh, toggle control. The name of, the, of this toggle control is going to be TGL prioritized. 
Uh, and this toggle control basically is going to filter the, the, the customers that have marked or have been checked as prioritized accounts, right? So the filter number four is going to be by um, prioritized, uh, prioritized customers. And basically, uh, I am validating that if the, toggle, if the value of the toggle control is true, then we are going to filter only by the one the, the accounts that have been prioritized that, that have the value true and if not we are going to show all the customers right we are not going to apply any filters so that's why i specify false or true both and again we can do the same test we have only one customer prioritized okay guys that was all for this video in our next video, we are going to apply additional filters to our customer gallery. We are going to know how to order our customer gallery as well as how to filter by customer name. So if you have any comment, any suggestion or recommendation, please leave it in the comments section and also subscribe to don't miss any new video. Thank you and see you in our next videos. Bye.